old phones, laptops, TVs, we've all got them. Even when they're broken, they're still a valuable resource. G'day, I'm Michael Taplin, the Waste Technical Officer with Wellington Shire Council. And I'm Sarah Luke, the Sustainability Engagement Officer. And today, the two of us are going to take you on a journey of the world's fastest growing waste resource, e-waste. E-waste is short for electronic waste and is classified as anything with batteries, cord or an electrical plug. Australians are among the largest generators of e-waste in the world. In Australia, e-waste is actually growing three times faster than any other waste stream. In 2019, the Victorian government banned e-waste from landfill because it can leach toxic chemicals such as lead and mercury into the soil and groundwater. That means e-waste cannot go in your household bins. If e-waste ends up in landfill, valuable non-renewable resources are wasted. Luckily, 90% of the components in your computer or television can be fully recycled. Our electronics contain precious metals like gold, silver and copper, and recyclable materials like plastics and glass, so they can be used in the next wave of technology rather than mining or making new materials. We want to show you what happens to your e-waste after you drop it at one of our eight transfer stations across Wellington Shire, or for smaller items at the port of sale. And we want you, our community, to have the confidence that not only e-waste, but all our recyclables are going to the right processing locations and that we as the Waste and Sustainability team are following all our due diligence. G'day Sam, I believe you've got some e-waste for us to recycle. As a matter of fact I do. This laptop here, it has reached the end of its usable lifespan and I'd like to see it recycled responsibly. Thanks Sam, what we'll do, we'll spray this with blue spray paint and then we'll be able to follow it on its recycling journey. Here we are at Stratford Transfer Station. There are e-waste disposal containers, similar to the one behind me, at all of our Wellington Shire transfer stations. Once the contractor comes to collect the contents, they'll transport that to Cypher Technologies, where the material will be processed. Here we are, two and a half hours away, and there's our laptop. I'm here at Cypher Technologies who are helping Wellington Shire Council to drive sustainability and confidence within the e-waste recycling industry. Now I'll introduce you to James Stanfield who's the plant manager for Cypher Technologies. What happens is the material arrives on the truck as you've seen and then the staff will sort it into 13 different categories so it gets hand-picked and they will go through and they'll sort out all the different categories. Once they've been sorted into their individual bins, those bins then get moved throughout the facility and will get processed in different ways, again, depending on what they are and the value of their commodities. So in some cases, they'll be manually disassembled and the individual pieces will be taken out. In other cases, they'll be shredded and then the shred will be sorted and the valuables will be pulled out of the shred. So the closed loop is exactly what we're aiming for. We don't believe that any of these commodities should be going to landfill. They should all be getting reused and reused and reused in industry. Thanks for coming with us on an e-waste recycling journey today. Here at Wellington Shire Council, our team prides itself on ensuring that we keep the middle of everywhere as beautiful as possible. It's really important to us as a team that you've got the knowledge to help us divert from landfill.